Hello and good afternoon, LinkedIn Scared Ghost, aka Anthony, just uh, just posted this application up on the Vive uh, Focus Vive Port application portal, and it's it is the Dodge uh, port over from the Magic Leap One demo we had a few weeks ago. It's uh, truly fascinating to see where some of this pass through technology is going to be coming here. You can actually use your hand to block this, and then your other controller to go ahead and hit this guy. But uh, welcome today. What I'd like to discuss is looking at some of these um, mixed reality via stereo front-facing cameras. So you see a lot of these, especially with the Qualcomm 835, next year with the Qualcomm 845, this is gonna be prevalent across almost every single piece of technology up to the XR1. So let's review some of these really quickly. You know, Anthony and I got in a few discussions on LinkedIn about the differences between the Vive Pro and the Z camera. The significant difference that I can see is latency. So in the Vive Pro here, we have 200 milliseconds of latency of that stereo pass-through mixed reality or AR that you see there. On the stereo, uh, the Z camera, we have about 60 milliseconds. Um, that's significant, especially when you're doing very applications with quick head, head, head movements from, from side to side. You can definitely see that and feel that. Some of the resolution, this renders the virtual objects at full Vive Pro resolution, but all the other realistic objects at 480p. So it seems a little, different when you're inside it. You can definitely see what's virtual and what's not. And that's not what you want when you're blending atoms and photons. Um, again, this is at 480p, the Z's at 720. But one of the other things I look at is dynamic meshing or, or spatial mapping out to 20 meters. So the Z is at 20 meters, the Z Mini, uh, Z Mini is at 12.5, and the Vibe Pro is only at two and a half meters out. So if you're developing an application that you need you know, up to 30 or 40 feet out, this isn't gonna do it for you. And some of the simple hand interactions here are just, just like this, hand open, close, some simple things. Whereas with the Z coupled with the leap motion, you get full skeletal tracking um, all the way through. And, you know, when comparing some of these other technologies as well, I also look at the Oculus Bridge. So the depth on this is about three and a half meters. And the advantage of this is you don't need an NVIDIA 970 as with the, the uh, the Vive Pro or the 1070 with the Z to power that with an NVIDIA CUDA, you know, up to 3000 CUDA cores. This powers right off your iPhone, has 110 degrees field of view versus 90 and 96 on the other two devices. Um, and it's incredibly fast for, for spatial mapping and other applications, and it's portable. You don't have to bring your PC with you, you can just slap your phone right in here um, and, and, and go ahead and start developing. So there's so many different options when you're developing right now. And one of the glossed over ideas for me is looking at these kinds of stereo pass-through mixed reality versus transparent displays is transparent displays are vastly affected by what? External lighting. It's one of the reasons why you can't use a hollow lens outside without really darkening or tinting the lenses because of the 80 to 90% of that light needs to be recombined inside with either the Lycos micro display they, they need to actually combine that inside up to 10 times the external lighting from the original power source. So that, that's a huge deal when you're developing applications. But I, I, I highly recommend to everybody, if you can get your hands on either a Vive Pro or a Z or even a Vive uh, a Focus, to, to take a look at the different types of mixed reality applications, not just Magic Leap, not just HoloLens, but you know, look across the entire spectrum of, of this mixed reality via these stereo pass-through cameras. And, it, and the whole world kind of opens up a bit to see some of these other possibilities that exist without the limitations of uh, ambient lighting and or nits, uh, the, the light angle that hits your eye. All right, I hope this uh, helped you guys out a lot. Again, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me, direct message me on LinkedIn, or send me an email, tony at vigroup.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.